everybody. I'm Tony Fleming. Thanks for joining us at Fleming's Ultimate Garage today looking at what I say. I don't know, man. When you look at pickup trucks today, they remind me so much of like riding around with a grandfather or a field party or where did uh, where did tailgating actually start, right? At the back of a truck. And a beautifully restored truck that somebody owned, restored themselves and took to the shows is why you want to buy that truck. And you say, Tone, why does that matter? Don't I want a professionally restored truck? Well, yes, you do want a professionally restored truck. This is professionally restored, but it's also done by a mechanic, right? He was a mechanic. This is the third vehicle that I purchased from that family, and they're thinning down their herd. And the reason I say that is because this person wouldn't go to a car show with the turn signal not working. This is not going to go to the car show with pitted wheels or rusted brake calipers, because if he's a mechanic and he's a good mechanic and he restores cars, are we even on? No. Oh, shit. I thought you were looking at that thing. Yeah, right. <laughs> oh, nice. Oh, God, I got to start over. Shit. He means he's a good mechanic. Huh? Car show. He's a good mechanic. Can I start from there? Yeah. Well, hi, guys. Well, hello. <laughs> hi. <laughs> um. Back to talking about the owner of the truck. I mean, when you're a mechanic and you go to car shows, you have to have a good vehicle. And that's exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna walk around this and see why. All new trim in here, right? New emblems, new paint, body, chrome, bumpers, grill, headlights, underneath the hood, a fresh uh, 355 Chevrolet center bolt valve covers, nicely upgraded for some more power. The interior is really, really nice. The bed liner is sprayed the same color as this right here. The underneath is really nice. And, and forget all of that stuff that it's great with power disc brakes and air conditioning and what have you. It's the fact that this drives beautifully down the road. Some cars look great and drive and rattle like terrible. This is not like that. So let's take a minute. We're going to look at some quality of here. And this is an original color truck, which I love. This is an original 576 coated light yellow pickup. This is a great looking color, man. This looks so good. I don't know what it looks like on video or pictures, but in person, it is spectacular. The black here, the interior, the white cab, make it almost look like it's a convertible. It just looks really, really cool. Anyway, I like to show quality of paint because especially under these harsh lights here, the paint is beautifully wet sanded, buffed, and the detail of being able to see all the letters crystal clear in there, that's what you want. You wanna make sure that you can, and, and even if you're looking at other trucks out there, which I would be surprised if you were, which would hurt my feelings, and I will drive over and share that with you. However, if you were to look at some other trucks out there, and let's say that this one uh, wasn't available anymore, get them to do a video for you, man. But don't look at just the letters. Look at how crisp and clear. The crisper and clearer the letter is, the better the quality of paint. All right, so let's take a peek under here and let's look at some things that tell you that some trucks are a little different than others, right? So this has a fresh fresh center bolt valve cover, uh, Chevrolet crate motor in it, right? And that's, that's, a, that's a better engine, right? It's, it just flows better, it makes more power, things like this. This is a factory AC truck. Look at all the factory AC equipment still in place, okay? This is the part I love here. Look at the size of this radiator, and those are some of the things that make me nuts, is when you have air conditioning, you have a lot of items here. This has a transmission cooler as well. Then you have uh, the condenser and then you have the air conditioner and the air doesn't flow through here like it should. So you need to have a nice big radiator so that you can idle in traffic with the AC on and enjoy the truck like it's supposed to be. Not worry about the, gat, the temp gauge creeping up, truck overheating, having to pull over, letting it cool down. This gets solved by this little bit here. Although it's expensive, I would like to point it out because it does take effort to get all that done. All right. And then uh, obviously here we have double belts which I like just in case, you know, one breaks and you have a redundancy of a backup system. We have power disc brakes, we have power steering, many features that we forget to ask on old classic pickups because they didn't come that way with all of those things. And then lastly, all of the wires wrapped up in wire looms. If you wanted to go to a car show, you could open up or a truck show and open up the hood of this and really show it off and it just looks great. All right, so everybody, listen, part of, part of owning a truck is really how this all started and that's the tailgating. Uh, uh, we got a guest appearance here of Steel who said that uh, he'd come here and join us uh, as, our, as our farm dog, as our farm dog. Mm -hmm. This is nice because it's all painted inside here. This is this right here comes out. So if you want to leave the tono cover there and roll it up and use the bed as well, that just slides right out. Tono cover is always nice too. It keeps everything clean, 
hides things in the back. Don't forget too, a pickup truck is designed to throw some lawn chairs in there. Go to a party, right? Go to a, a ball game or something like that, or a concert or whatever. Sit in the back of here, sit above everybody else and spread out and have some fun. All right, so come on in here because in here is uh, the Cheyenne upgrades, right? This is a much nicer interior than a work truck. Molded door panels, the wood grain. Uh, this has a full array of factory gauges as well as an upgraded set too. This radio, although it looks stock, is not stock. It's a, uh, it's a digital unit uh, designed to be able to be up upgraded for satellite and things like that, but it's already got all the digital parts in it. New headliner, new paint, new seat covers, new console, new carpet, new great looking mat here that goes across. I go on and on about this because if you've never restored a vehicle, you have no idea the effort and dollars it takes to do that. This is a beautiful truck. It drives well and sitting inside of it, it just fits so good. Like I'm just sitting here going, you know what? I could wheel this thing down the road right now, right to a car show or Home Depot, doesn't matter. And I'm having a great day. All right, so we close up the video. A lot of times people will say, that's a great looking truck, but they don't really know why it's a great looking truck. Well, let's walk around just real quick. The Cheyenne Super 10 package here with the upgraded trim around it, right? The interior is really nice. The color is spectacular. Throw in air conditioning and the power steering and power disc brakes. A restored truck is the way to get a truck. Don't restore a truck in your own. You'll spend way more money. And this you could be driving next weekend, not having to wait two years if you can find somebody to work on today, right? Anyway, call us, 301-816-1000. We'll tell you all about this cool Chevrolet pickup. Don't forget to like the video if you would, please, and share this with your friends as well. That's on the other side there. And uh, subscribe to our channel. We're feeding these in every day. And every day you can check out a new video here.